Thanks for staying with us in Bill O'Reilly. Personal story segment tonight. You may remember that over the summer, French priest was murdered by Muslim terrorists in his own church. That sparked more outcry against the jihad in France and around the world. Political commentator Mark Stein recently returned from Europe where he attended the priest's funeral and spoke with a number of people affected by the jihad. Mr. Stein joins us now from Colchester, Vermont. What did you learn there? What was the headline that you learned in Europe, Mr. Stein? Well, you, you said uh, at the top of the show that migrants aren't the problem, uh, jihadists are, and that's true, uh, but there is a crude arithmetic here, Bill, which is that uh, the more Muslims you have, the more terrorism you have, so that France, Belgium, and Germany have very high Muslim populations, and they have a lot of terrorism. Uh, when you're in Poland and the Czech Republic, they have very few Muslims, so they don't have terrorism. And the question uh, for Europe uh, and I think for the United States uh, a few years down the line, is whether you can contain this just by the big security state. Yeah, I, I was on can. the beach at... Go ahead. Well, no, you can't. I mean, right. uh, there are soldiers everywhere in France now, outside schools, shopping centers, railway stations. I was on the beach at Saint-Tropez, where the topless women uh, have armed soldiers uh, with automatic weapons patrolling between the topless women. It's, it's a sad sight, and it's an absurd sight. Ultimately, it's no solution. Now, um, I heard you on the radio the other day uh, saying that you, no longer in America can we even debate terrorism or anything else, because if you disagree no. with the left, um, they immediately demonize you as Islamophobic or, or anti-gay or anti-poor, whatever. You really believe yeah. that? You believe the debate is all gone? Yes, I think that's true. I think essentially we're turning into one vast college campus where there is a correct view uh, and uh, alternative views are not permitted. I disagree with people. I like to disagree with people. So do you. Uh, uh, whatever your view on gay marriage or climate change or Islam, I like to discuss it. The left increasingly says we don't want to win the argument, we want to cancel the argument. And just this weekend, if you look at this fake outrage about Donald Trump, Trump declaring the New York event a bombing uh, before it had been officially ruled a bombing, that is an attempt to shrivel the, uh, the, the public discourse and prevent uh, a diversity of views on Islam and immigration and terrorism. And if you notice, that's the classic left response now. Uh, let's not debate your point of view, let's cancel your point of view. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we were living in a totalitarian social uh, environment right now. Any solution to it? Right. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I, I think Trump in the last year has actually managed to expand the public conversation. And whether you agree with him or not uh, on those issues, that's what we need. When we have people like Senator Whitehouse, for example, trying to criminalize dissent on climate change, that go. guy is actually unfit <laughs> for office. Unfit for office. Right, but you don't want to shut him down. Rhode Island should be ashamed of that. You don't want to shut him down, Mr. Stein. You want to debate him. So then we don't want to do what they right. do.